Now, an E-Team exclusive. Just this week, Ohio opened the registry for patients who want the right to buy medical marijuana. The E-Team's Kevin Berry has been walking us through this process, and he learned for some people this will make them feel less like criminals and more like patients. Amanda's labored steps around her home are some of the most obvious symptoms of the multiple sclerosis she's been battling since 2011. Back then, Amanda was in a lot of pain, but she didn't want anything to do with marijuana of any kind. And was offered um, a joint to smoke, and I, that's how I found out that it actually helped my medical condition. Daily treatments help her walk a little easier by relaxing her muscles and reducing the spasms in her legs. It's completely changed her thoughts about the medicinal power marijuana can have, but it all came at a high cost. Becoming sick made me a criminal if I wanted to be better. The marijuana she smokes and keeps in a safe is illegal. She has a letter from a doctor that might give her a chance to get out of legal trouble if she were ever arrested, but it's no guarantee. Access is the number one problem uh, for patients right now, especially. Until now, this week, Ohio opened its medical marijuana patient registry. Doctors certified to recommend medical marijuana can enter a patient onto the list. After the state confirms who they are, it'll give them a patient registry card, and the patients will eventually be able to get medical marijuana from dispensaries once they open. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry for the E-Team. And Amanda says even once she is able to buy marijuana at a dispensary, she has some concerns about going to one because she says she's not very mobile, making her an easy target for someone who might want to take her money or the marijuana as she's walking out. So she says maybe she'd like to see a delivery system set up. 